Um, um, yes, um, I'm from a company called um, Lynn Media. Um, we operate a couple of divisions. We have um, a television division, um, we have a digital division, and we have a mobile division. So um, this is going to be painless. I know you guys are all used to seeing PowerPoints and being presented to them every single day. So this is not going to be short and hopefully a little informative at the same time. So I'm um, just going to click and make sure we have it. There we go. Okay, so um, for those of you that don't know about um, Lynn Media and who we are, um, we are um, a multimedia company. We own and operate 43 um, independent television stations. So we own ABC, CBS, CW in over 43 markets. And we now have, um, as of last week, 10 digital channels as well, which we own. Um, it gives us a Nielsen rating. We reach about one in 10 US households um, in America with our TV programming every single day. In addition to that, um, we own and operate all of the local TV web and affiliate websites that go along with that. And we also operate um, a publisher network, a premium publisher network of sites which um, put us in the Comscore top 20 as well. So that's a little bit about who we are. We've been around for 50 years. We're actually celebrating our 51st year of being in business today. And um, as a company, and I'm going to ask Jason to pass me my little notes over there because it's not coming up on the screen. Sorry. Here. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. All right. Just to give you some insights, because what I wanted to talk about just briefly this morning while we have breakfast is this conference is about video and what it means to us um, in our respective day-to-days. Well, what it means to Lynn is this. We um, develop original content and syndicate content um, across all of our platforms on a daily basis. We syndicate national content through our ABC, CW, NBC affiliates, and we also produce original content, which we syndicate across our TV, web, and um, mobile applications as well. For us, it's a big business. Um, you know, with everything that we um, create and we produce, we have to monetize it. So against all of our video across all of these platforms in 2012, it's a pretty decent income for us. Um, $553 million. We're a public company. So for us, we've seen a huge growth in the last two to three years of the monetization of video across all of our platforms. And therefore, for us as a business, and like everybody here, we're always looking for scale, we're looking for reach, and we're looking for the best ways possible to drive advertising solutions around the content which we consume every day. So. We all operate in our day-to-days around video, which is a something why we're all here, I guess, um, this week. And, and for us as a business, we are media owners, uh, we're media operators, and we're also vendors as well. So we operate on all different sides of the spectrum. So for us, we have to go out and we have to sell advertising around our video, and we have to make video that's compelling enough to keep not only our Nielsen ratings um, to where they need to be, but also you know, our Comscore rankings for our owned and operated sites at the same time. If I just move on. Um, to give a little landscape of what that means, you know, for us, the US is an ever-growing market, and so is the consumption of video and how we see it. And in our day-to-day, -day, you know, we have owned assets, which you can see on the far right hand of the map, which give us a good reach and it gives us good intel. And for many years, we take all of this data about video consumption, how people watch it, where they watch it, on what devices they watch it, and how long they spend watching content on these devices. As a company in the last two years, we've developed um, content with mobile. Um, you know, mobile has been the big buzz topic um, for all of us with video for probably the last three to five years. Um, it's a door opener, it's a conversation starter. Um, in terms of revenue, the revenue is still not there. And um, I was talking with a gentleman from, from Media Post um, last night about it, and they, um, 
I'm going to put it into English soccer terminology of where mobile, what it means to us at Lynn Media, and I think what it means to the industry. So if you're listening, this is my um, English soccer analogy. So TV, in terms of video and the monetization of it and how we consume it, is Manchester United. Okay. Um, we then move into video and, you know, video online, video on the web. And that is a feisty little monster, and it's been growing, and it's had a lot of investment put into it, and there's some great new players coming into it. So I'm putting that kind of, I'm going to call that Tottenham Hotspur. Okay. And then we have mobile, all right? And mobile... Everybody talks about it. Great hopes, huge desires. It's, it's going to be the big thing. Well, for me right now, I call mobile Wigan Athletic. Um, they're there, you know, they're just teetering on the edge, and they're, you know, a lot of hopes and a lot of dreams. But at the same time, there's investment being put into it. And for us, in our day to day, we're hoping to see it grow, and we're hoping to figure out how it can work into the Manchester United and into the Tottenham Hotspur. So there's my football analogy, okay? It took me all night to come up and think of something to talk about that. Well, you know, um, Arsenal, I, I actually put Arsenal as Nielsen. They're always talking about everybody else, okay? You know, and how it should be done. So um, we'll, we'll call those Nielsen. Um, but for us, it's, it's, it's an exciting time and for all of us. So as I say, um, you know, a lot of the things that we see um, with video and consumption and the monetization of it is, a lot of us here operate, you know, nationally and locally. And we have to look at ways with which we can deliver content nationally and locally and at the same time monetize it nationally and locally. So for us, you know, we've got 50 years experience growing from all of these platforms, TV, then it was the web, and now it's mobile. And as brand marketeers, um, you know, um, in this room today, um, it's one of the most challenging things that, you know, is facing us now in the marketplace is, is how do we leverage these platforms, how do we make them synergize with each other when buying and placing media, and also as media and content providers and operators for us, we're constantly having to come up with innovative ways to push our content across these platforms, as a lot of you guys are probably experiencing as well. And for us, what that means, if I can do this, is it, is it here? Yeah. One of the things that um, we're finding um, exciting is that if you take us, for example, we own um, Wish TV in Indianapolis. Great station. We own KXAN in Austin. Okay, another great station. So we produce original content and programming for those stations, and we syndicate national content across them. So over the last few years, we've then adapted to create video onto the next level, which was the web, so that people can access websites, can consume shorter, more impactful content in the way that they want to consume it. And then at the same time, we've taken the advertisers that have been with us for years on television and pushed those ad dollars down onto the web and justified the spend, the reach, the metric, and what it means to them. Now with mobile, we're looking at the same there. We've now developed apps for all of our TV station, you know? So now you can access KXAN, you know, and Wish TV in those two markets on an app. So you can watch content on those parameters. And again, we've had to adapt how we produce content for that app. It's another different form of content because the way people consume video on that particular product is very different than how they consume it in their home on a desktop or a laptop, and again, how they consume media when watching TV. As a business and, the and in the industry, um, and I do a lot of um, sort of panels around this, we look at TV as the main event. It's the main event in the home. We go, we work, we come home, we sit down, we have a 
meal, and then we sit and we have particular programs that have become part of our life, whether it's the news, whether it's sports, revenge on ABC, it's a big one in our house. And you know, you watch it, you make it an event. Then you've got the web. And the web is something that's in your day-to-day, -day, in your work life. It's something that you know you travel with. Then you've got the mobile device, and that's something usually on the go. With each of these platforms, we consume media in very different ways. Therefore, one of the exciting things about video that we see in the industry is that we're having to be more creative in the way that we deliver video. Okay, across these platforms. You can't push the same content and hope it all fits and works on the same platform because consumption is different and how it's measured is different. And the other great thing is the brands and advertisers that we all work with are pushing us to come up with innovative ways to consume and engage these audience across these platforms. And I think for us and for everybody in this room, video is exciting. It's something with which we can be very creative with. It's something with which we've seen come across all of the different platforms. And now we're at a process where it's exciting to see how we can buy this product, how we can sell this product, and how we can create video for these different platforms. So for us moving forward, and I think you know, from talking to a lot of people in the industry, it's interesting, you know, when we gather at events like this and we talk to each other about what our day-to-day -day means around video. Some of us are in the advertising um, agency business where we represent brands and we have to spend money. We have to find audiences to place our brands against that are meaningful and compelling and relevant to meet the right criteria that's requested from the brand. As media owners and operators, we've got to provide that platform, that content that meets those demands and then sell it into the agency. And then as distributors and vendors, we have to come up with the technology, the metrics that can hopefully pull all this together and make sense to both sides of the fence. So I think over the last two, three years, video has been one of the products out of display, out of search, that has really brought the three platforms together in a more cohesive way. So so for us as a business, video is exciting, um, and you know I'm happy that you know a lot of people here in the company, you know, in the present company here, spend money with us, which is great. But I think you know for us, it's always looking at what's next, and you know summits like this are great for us to talk with people, find out what vendors are doing, what people in the advertising industry are thinking, what they're thinking about, and vendors, you know, who are the people that you know are taking in these dollars, ad dollars, to find content like what we operate to advertise around. So I'm excited to be here. Um, thank everybody for joining us for breakfast. And um, hope you have a great day. Thank you. All right.